Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to Trucker Tuesdays on the channel. We have a load of fresh fish and we are back for the first time in a long time. We're back in Europe. I have to get used to the tight turning radius and all of these various things with the trucks here and the narrow roads and things like that. So plenty of adventure awaiting for us here. Now, in some time between the last time we we're here and now, there was a new version of the game. And so that meant that we got reset back to our base in Toulouse, France. And so we are going to take today up to Dijon. I decided we're just going to stay where we are. And I'll show you the route because um, we're going to go up through. Uh, basically, it's a nine hour, 10 hour drive to Dijon. But I also want to make two detours to the town of Montpellier and then Saint-Aubin-du-Rune. And I'm sure I butchered that. My apologies up on the way because we can pick up two more that would give us three French cities because believe it or not, we still haven't gone to all the cities in France. And I'll talk a little bit about that as we get going. But let's get out on the road here. We have a long way to go and a lot of fish to carry. So looking forward to this. It has been, hand uh, I don't hit the gate. It has been a while since we've been in Europe. I do have to adjust to the European drivers and all those kinds of things, which should be kind of fun. And we've got a rainy day. Game time, it's nine in the morning. We have slept quite a bit and plenty of gas. So we've got energy and energy in me and energy in the tr truck. So all those things should be good. We should have a nice long route. Altogether about 11 and a half hours on our journey here. And uh, many things to talk about on this route. We will talk about our AI driver experiment. We're gonna see how that's going. And I've got a couple more ideas for experiments based on some comments and some things I've been thinking about. So we'll talk about those things too, but should be a nice drive across the French countryside to kind of ease our way back into Euro Truck Simulator 2. We are getting out on the highway. We'll see you when we get down the road about an hour or so. Recalcule. What? Ah. Oh. Wasn't paying attention and I may have taken a wrong turn. So instead of it being an 11 and a half hour journey after driving a half an hour, it's now a 12 hour and 14 minute journey. So we're, we're off to a good start here. I, 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 I thought it was easy. I wasn't even paying attention. And yeah, sure enough, totally butchered it. But it looks like we just have to make a little bit of a some U-turn shenanigans down here and then we should be okay. But we'll get back on track here. All right, so technically, I don't think we're supposed to turn this way, but I think we're going to be a little bit brazen here and go for it here. Let's see if we can make this turn. It's going to be close. Rather bold driving here. No signs taken out, and we're back on track. Nice. That saved a long U-turn back there. No police officers around, so shh, we're okay. Back on track. We'll connect as we get back on the highway going in the right direction. God, car cut me off. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> Not off to the greatest start here. So we're a little over an hour down the road. Finally, after getting a 400 euro fine for dinging a car, going up to that toll booth, and then making a wrong turn in just the first hour and a half of the journey. But other than that, we're doing fine, no problems. Um, I did want to take a moment now before I forget to update us on our AI driver experiment because we haven't looked at it for a while and there's been a number of about a day or so that's passed since in game time since we last checked out our drivers. Now, if you're not familiar with it, this is the experiment where we hired five AI drivers, gave them all the same trucks and put them all in Munich and trying to see if there's anything we can identify in how we develop the drivers by, you know, which skills do we emphasize as to whether they make more money going one way or the other way. and. It's actually been pretty interesting so far. I'll show the results up here now, but we have five drivers. And interestingly enough, the one that's making the most money is William right now, and he is balanced, which means that we're giving him one point in all the five major skills, except for the eco driving one, which I don't really think counts very much. So we kind of just discounted that one. But he's made over 12,000 euros in the three days that he's been driving, by far and away the leader over everybody else. The next two drivers, interesting enough, are Max and Sophie, 
right about the same, a little bit, a little bit over 9,000, well, 9,000, I guess Max has more. Interestingly enough, that one of the patterns that we might be starting to identify is that they are balanced as well. Sophie were doing one skill point in each of the five major skills and then concentrating all on long distance. So she's still in that kind of range of trying to get one skill level in each of the five things because we've only been doing it like three days in game time. And then Max is one in the first three and then alternating between long distance and ADR. And so those both have over 9,000 euros. It's hard to read my little chart and drive in the rain as usual, but we, we, we accept this challenge. And then Patrick's not doing badly. He focuses in ADR. He's got 7,000 euros profit. The worst one by far is Pierre, who we are concentrating totally in long distance. Pierre only has 3,400 something odd euros. So not doing very well. He had a one run where he had to come back and it ended up costing him a thousand euros to basically come back empty handed. So I, I don't think it's really much we can say about the results of this anywhere, really, because it's way too early to say anything about it. But it, it does seem to be indicating that a balanced approach to the AI drivers might make more sense than focusing on one Attention, skill. So we'll see. But I think really what we have to have happen first is to have kind of go through about 10 skill levels until we can identify things. And really, we kind of have to figure out, you know, at what point do we say this balancing thing is over because it's um, about, sorry, I'm distracted. There's a little beetle in the house somewhere and it's like flying around here. And I've been trying to hit it and drive and talk and read the chart at the same time. And that's like way too many things for my brain to do at one time. Okay, now I get the bug. Now I can focus. Okay. All right. So here we go. Um, yes. So I think it's way too early to say too much, but we will keep following them. So there you go. The big update after all those words. Anyway, we're going to keep on trucking down the road. It seems to be just a whole rainy day here. We have a long way to go, but um, what, nine hours still to go here. So but the two stops in the city is actually turning out to be a pretty hefty drive. We will connect again as we probably get off the road to check out Montpelier. And then, uh, so we'll see in a little bit. So we got off the highway a little while ago. We are just approaching Montpelier. We can see the the city off on the little newbie down below. So we should trigger it pretty soon here. There we go. Triggered. Montpelier discovered 27 out of 31 cities in France discovered um, for that achievement, which is good. How, how we can go right around this rotary and get back out on the highway too. Very nice. So we will do that. Now, one of the things I'm a little bit curious about though here, right, is how not to hit the cars in the rotary, but it, that car's not going to stop, is it? It did stop. Sorted wow. Maintenant. Have the rotary cars gotten better? That's pretty cool. Um, one of the things I'm a little bit curious about is that if I look at the achievement for Paris, um, for France, it looks like we have more than four cities left, and it, yet it only says we have four cities. It looks like we have like six cities left to go to, so some of them must not count for the achievement for whatever reason. I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll get back out on the highway and we will get going here and heading to France. I'm a little bit distracted because the newbie's telling us the wrong way to go because it wants us to go back where we were. That's why it's a little bit confused, but we're going to go to Marseille and Lyon. We're going this way for sure. I know this is the right way. There we go. So we'll get this sorted out and we'll see you down the highway there. Another French city. Four more to go. I have to figure out which ones they are. We'll see if St. Alban whatever this next one that we're going to is actually counts for a city because it looks like it's a small city on the map so maybe those don't count. Sure. In any case, we'll see in a little bit. Yeah, so here's the thing, right? So it said we've been to 27 out of 31 French cities and we have saint aubin du rhin Dijon, saint Laurent, La Rochelle, Calais, and Paloel left. That's six that I count right there, but there's only four more that we need for the achievement. So... I'm a little confused, but anyway, whoa, a little bit over halfway in our journey to Dijon and uh, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. We're going to have to sleep one more time. So I think what I'm going to do is try to go as far as I can in the daylight and then we'll grab some sleep, uh, but make a good time. Pretty easy driving, all highway driving. We haven't hit anything since that one little accident back in the beginning. No speeding violations or tickets otherwise, too. It's pretty much all highway here, too. So at some point, we're going to be making that detour off the highway to go pick up that town again. But for the time being, just making good time. And uh, 
I think we'll have enough money. We are making so much money now. I had 23,000 at the start of this episode. I did sleep twice. And so, but it's probably been what? We've driven six hours now. So it's a nine hours of sleep, eight, nine hours. So it's about 24 hours making about 200,000. So I realize that's not a lot. There's always people that post things like, yeah, I'm, you know, you make a lot more. If you have a lot more basis, but it's getting to that point. It's still not quite there yet, but it is getting to that point where the money really starts to roll in in the game, I think, because uh, we have enough now in this drive to buy another truck, which we do have another spot in our base in France. So we will buy a new truck and hire a driver for this one too. But oh yes, it's stopped raining. Most excellent now. So we'll get a good bit of afternoon driving here as we cut across the French countryside. We'll see you in about another hour. I want to talk a little bit about some of my, some of the other ideas for experiments. So just a quick and about five hours left and we are making that detour to go off the highway to pick up that small town to get that other city here in France. And I, and I don't know if that one's gonna count for the achievement because we need four more and there are six left. So by that math, two of them just don't count. Or you just have to get 31 of the 33 and maybe they, maybe when they added Iberia, they added a couple more cities and then they just said, as long as you get 31 of the 33, Attention, that counts? That could be another thought. I hadn't thought about that. We'll find out as we get there, I think, because this is a small town. So if this one gets us one more city closer, that would leave us only with four left. And then we haven't been to Dijon, so that would be three left. So we could be getting down to getting the French achievement. So we are approaching saint aubin du Rhin, which I apologize for my butchery. I should have looked it up before we got here, but I'm curious to see how this one registers. Like, is it gonna register for a city for us? This is really far off the highway too, by the way. We have come off, uh, it's out in the middle of nowhere here. I'm very curious to see what happens, but it'd be nice if it counted. But I suspect this might be one that maybe it doesn't count. Who knows? Will Looks like there's just a little factory. Possible. Oops, speed bumps. Oh, yeah. OK, there it is. OK, so we discovered it, but it does not register on the achievement. So that answers the question. Apparently, there are a couple well, we're in the bushes here. A couple of very small towns in France that do not count for the achievements. And we have to make a U-turn here somehow. I am not sure how. This is tricky. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll go straight through here. Hopefully let us through. There we go. Okay. And we'll figure it out. We'll go around here and then get back on the road. So we'll see you in a little while. About three and a half hours left. We're making our way down these country roads to get back to the highway. That was kind of a fun little detour. There's really some really nice French countryside out here. If we take a look here. Just really enjoying the journey here. Little towns and villages, wooded highways, Attention. little traffic, one lane in each way. It's good. Whoa, we're going a little fast here. Hopefully we don't have an accident, but yeah. So this is a nice little detour. I've enjoyed this a lot and I can see the highway entrance down just a little way. So if you haven't been here, well worth it, I think, adding to your adventures in the game. And I just realized we need to get some sleep. But I did want to mention one other thing as we have three hours left. I was just thinking about this there as we went all the way out there to kind of drive on this extra road and stuff like that. And I left a little bit of road undriven on. And I was thinking about those achievements that there's two achievements related to them in the game, right? One is that you drive 60% of all the roads in the game world. And then the other is that you drive 100% of all the roads in the game world. And those, the 100% one seems just madness to me. I mean, I would really, and I, I know we've talked about it before in the channel too. I think what I would do is kind of turn off all the DLC, start a new career and just do it with the very small basic version of the game. I think that's the best way to try to get that one. Um, if you were trying to, for whatever reason, trying to get that one. But I was thinking it would be cool if for each DLC or each country, they had drive all of the roads in that particular country. That would be fun, I think. I'm gonna get out of the lane here. We're gonna miss it. And we need to find a place to sleep too. But that would be fun, like drive 100% of the roads in France. That'd be cool. Drive 100% of the roads in Luxembourg. That would be cool, because that would be easy. But that, that'd be really neat. That'd be, I think, because that's a little bit more doable than 100% of all the roads in the game, which is just such a crazy achievement to me. I know there's people that have gotten it too, and you see them posting on online sometimes. I'm like, wow, that's just gotta be so much work to get every single road. And I think it does, I still don't know. And I'm not sure if anyone's ever, I'm not sure if anyone's answered it ever, but I still don't know. Does it like, you know, if you drive down the highway and you don't take one of those rest areas, do you have to come back and get the rest area? Cause that section of the road doesn't turn yellow on the map. 
And likewise, do you have to go into all the building areas and stop Attention, at all the different building areas too? Wow, that would be tedious. Oh, we've got something off on the right here. We've seen it before too. What is this place? Oh, it has one of the picture things here. Very cool. Let's take the picture. Nice. Photo studio. Oh, actually, I think we just got to take it from here, right? How do we do that again? Photo studio. Gallery photo mode. Can we do that? And then if we point it over here, do we get it? Ah, Museum of Confluences. That's an interestingly named museum. I can't go that high. I do want to get that little mod that allows you to increase the camera range here. We'll take our little, actually, I'm going to go down the road a little bit and take the Museum of Confluences picture a little bit better. I feel like we can get a better picture of that right here. There we go. Let me get the truck in it for, what is the Muse Museum of Confluences? Is it about, do two rivers come together here? Museum of Confluences, that, because that's what a confluence is in English, but maybe it's just something kind of different. We could do that for like a screenshot kind of thing. The tree's in the way, you got to cut that tree down. But all right, there's a picture. Excellent. Nice. So the photo gallery thing works now for Europe too. Very cool. Another thing to do. You should, yes, we are getting, oh, we are not only getting tired, we're passing out. So I'm going to find us a place to sleep here. All right. Place to sleep right down the road. 22 minutes. I think we're good, but I forgot that's right. Cause there's the gallery thing in, in Europe now too. So many fun things to do. Yeah, that must be a museum of confluence. This must be, what rivers? Hmm. I have to look that one up. Oh, there's a the TGV, the French train. We are seeing so much of the French countryside here. This is kind of a fun little drive. Lyon. So what rivers go through Lyon? I confess, I don't know. My French geography isn't all that good. Actually, it's not good. Let's just leave it at that. But anyway, we will uh, drive down the road here, get a little bit of sleep, and we'll see you as we wake up. All right, you got gas, time to go to sleep. We will make more money. And back to raining, ah, oh, nighttime, okay. Of course, because what fun would it be in having an easy drive to finish? Let's get our wipers going here. All right, back at it. We have got about a little bit over two hours to go. It's 4.20 in the morning. I expect we'll see a sunrise pretty soon. So hopefully it won't be too much of driving in the dark in the rain. But I did notice too, as I was driving back there, once the weather came out, it's so much easier to drive in good weather, both in the game, just like real life. I mean, that makes sense, but yeah. So we'll get plugging away here. We'll see you in about another hour or so as we close in on our final destination. I do want to talk about my two more ideas for experiments. Sun is coming up over the French countryside as we make our way to Dijon. And we've got a little bit over an hour left. So two ideas for experiments. Let me know what you think about these. I think. I think they're somewhat redundant, but nevertheless, let me, let me just kind of humor me for a second. So the first idea for an experiment is to answer the question, um, do trucks matter, right? Because I posted that in, in the ATS episode shortly after that. And you know, because you can read online, if you read, so I suspect it's older information, but I do remember, whoa, that truck is gonna screw us up here. He just cut us off and I had to hit that car. That wasn't. That was actually, I think, about as good as I could have done there because there's no way I could have avoided the truck. If I hit the truck, it would have been a total disaster. I had to rack that car up instead. Sorry, Mr. Car, but <clears throat> it's not my fault. That one really isn't my fault. That truck should not have cut me off going that bad. I mean, I should have been alert to it because I forgot they do that, especially in Europe, but it's been a while since we've driven here. But anyway, disaster averted. Back to that. Do trucks matter? So I posted it on ATS because I'm, I'm pretty sure we kind of already proved it with the way we built the ATS drivers up. Because we had our two drivers, like Jana Kay and Ahmed, but they weren't making any money, right? And then as soon as we upgraded their trucks, they really started bringing in the cash. So either that's really coincidental or it was something to do with their levels or something like that. But it would seem to me that's pretty conclusive that the trucks matter. They weren't doing very well. We gave them better trucks. They started making a lot of money. But as soon as I posted that, someone else posted a comment on the episodes who said trucks don't matter. Just buy them the cheapest truck. And that seems to be this like persistent piece of information that for whatever reason is either still out there on the internet or it's from an older version or something like that. Or 
maybe it's just true. Maybe the trucks really don't matter. So I was thinking a truck experiment would be cool. And that one actually would be easy to do, right? Because you could buy a base in a town, like a medium sized town or something like that, and then put two super cheap trucks in there and two super expensive trucks, the best trucks you could find. And maybe even like one medium truck just to kind of balance out a little bit. And then just see how that, and just have the same balanced driver development pattern. Just make all the driver development patterns the same. Try to hire five drivers that are roughly the same and then just see how much money they make. That'd be pretty easy to do. The second experiment that I was thinking of, do cities matter? Because that's another argument I've seen, not argument, but conversations I've seen online that it says, just it's just randomly determined by the AI. So it doesn't matter what city and how many industries that are in the city when you put them in there, all the cities are the same. And then I've seen people who've said, no, it matters. You want to get a city that has as many industries as possible so that your drivers can find jobs leaving the city because otherwise they don't make as much money either going or coming back kind of thing like that so the more in other words the more destination points and the more departure points you have in the in your home deliver your home base city the more the easier it's going to be to make money and so that another one to do would be then to pick a really big city start right from the beginning buy two garages five bays give them exactly the same drivers on five star like same development pattern give them all exactly the same trucks so the only variable that's different to the degree you control it would be the city itself city size so like one city is a small city with just like one industry and the other city is a big city with like as many as you can get like 40 it's like munich we got a lot of delivery points in munich dijon discovered 28 out of 31 we are making progress in france two cities in france today actually three but one of them didn't count let me know i mean with those i feel like i know the answers already but it would be interesting to see them so i'd be curious to hear what people think and as we're rolling in more money now those types of experiments well that was a wide turn are much easier to do now because we've made 300,000 on this episode. It was only like I'm 49 minutes of real time driving. And yeah, so I'm pretty sure I would be able to start because we had to have like, what was it? A million, 1.2 million to do the last, 1.4 million, I think, to do the last experiment. Um, but now we can get make 1.4 million really fast. And it's just getting faster and faster and faster. This feels like this could be a challenging parking job 90 where do you need it right there yeah we're up for this one. Ooh, that's actually a little tricky isn't it because we can't back in from the other side so we got to come in from this side which means it's going to be blind maybe or can we just actually i wonder if we can just do a u-turn in france here because the european trucks have such a tight tight turning radius could we just go whoops i don't think we're supposed to be up here but could we just go this way and then come back? Could be challenging. We'll line it up and then we'll see. I don't think we can get this because we got to straighten the truck out really fast here. Maybe. Maybe we got it. I think we might be able to twist it in here. Just this now, and then cut it really hard. Ah, we butchered it, right? They're gonna give it to us. Oh, we had it just for a second ago. If we pull forward, we got it. Ah, we gotta straighten it out. Oh well, okay. Almost. Oh, I did it. The person who said you turn the wheel so that the bottom, if you want the trailer to go, you turn the wheel so that the trailer goes. <laughs> I can't even explain it. The trailer goes the way you turn the wheel, the bottom of the wheel. That's going to go right in there, isn't it? There it is. OK, we are home and it worked that time. I finally figured it out after like two years of doing this. Not our best parking job, but we are here. Fresh, fresh, fresh fish to Dijon. And we have $326,000 plus we're going to make now. Let's go buy a truck too, and then we'll be done. All right, show results now. We are making our way towards level 34. That was actually pretty good progress there. 23,000 euros. So we're close to what, 349,000. I'll go buy a truck and then we'll hire a driver. Put him in Toulouse, a driver. All right, we're going to get this Renault, Renault T-High Sleeper. That should be good. And it's going to go into loose, of course, because we have an empty bay there. 
right there. Okay, and we do need to hire a driver too. And I think to get that, there's one achievement where you have to have 10 drivers that are female and 10 drivers that are male. And they all have to be at maximum level. So we want to definitely how do, we do this here. Recruitment agency, there we go. We definitely need a female driver. So let's hire a driver. I think we have 10 male drivers. Emma W, wow, that's some pretty wild. She, she, she's not wearing any clothes. I think we want clothes, uh, drivers with clothes on. Uh, let's get someone here. Ideally, someone with Astrid. That's not bad. ADR and that. Let's, I'll poke around here and see what we can figure out. All right, here we go. Els S looks pretty good. She's got three skill points and one's in long distance. That should work. You are hired and you're going to France, Toulouse. There we go. Put you down there with your new Renault. Okay, and we are all set. So that brings us to the end. We still have 140,000 left. I might start saving up for those experiments. Let me know what you think about those. That brings us to another adventure, more adventures done in France. Put a link to the next episode as soon as it's ready. We'll be back next week for Trucker Tuesday. We'll go back to ATS, to American Truck Simulator, to do that one. And then as I get through the backlog of review games, I should explore, um, kind of pick up the pace with episodes and things. But for right now, it's going to be Trucker Tuesdays for a little bit. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Bye.